In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add a domain in Vercel. Whether you're setting up a new project or you're looking to streamline your deployment process, managing domains in Vercel can greatly enhance your web development experience. Let's jump in and walk through each step together. First, we'll start by accessing your project's domain settings. To do this, head over to your Vercel dashboard. This is the central hub where all your Vercel projects reside. Once there, take a moment to locate the specific project you want to work with. It's important that you choose the correct project since we're about to link it with your custom domain. With your project selected in the dashboard, let's move on to adding your custom domain. You should see a button labeled Add Domain. Click on this to bring up the domain entry screen. This is where Vercel allows you to connect the web address that users will type into their browsers to visit your site. Now, you'll want to carefully enter your desired domain name. For instance, it could be something like example.com or www.example.com if you prefer a more traditional website setup. You can also add a wildcard domain, such as bunch.example.com, which is particularly useful if you plan to work with a range of subdomains. After typing in your domain, go ahead and click Add. At this point, Vercel takes over and begins the process of linking your domain to your chosen project. Support for Apex domains, subdomains, and wildcard domains means you have a lot of flexibility in how you represent your site online. It's a powerful feature that can cover a wide range of scenarios, from a single site to something more dynamic with multiple endpoints. As this linkage process finalizes, make sure your domain registrar settings are correctly pointing to Vercel. This typically involves configuring DNS records, such as A records or CNAME records, depending on your registrar's requirements. Once your domain settings have been successfully updated and your domain is added, you might want to test its functionality. Open a browser and type in the domain you just added to verify that everything is working as expected. This double check ensures that any potential issues can be addressed straight away, providing a seamless experience for your site visitors. And there you have it. You've successfully added a domain to your project in Vercel. As always, keeping your domain configurations in check can save a lot of hassle down the line, and it simplifies launching and maintaining your projects online. I hope you found this guide helpful and you're now one step closer to having a fully functional web presence. Thank you for joining me today, and good luck with your web developments.